So, excuse the mess, but uh, come back from the, the city or town, whatever you want to call it, and uh, got a few busted pipes. We had a busted pipe. This pipe here was busted. That joint there was busted. This is only a shanty that we used just to stay in when we were at the farm. Um, but then the hot water feed there was busted. As we have gravity fed water, it sort of just ran. So when my uncle come around to check the generator and the power and all that, it sort of went all disastrous. We then had a busted pipe up there, so I've done a quick fix up there. Um, we've also had this one here blow off. That busted in the wall right there, so we had to change that. Um, sadly, we've got a pipe busted behind there, so we're having to drain all this. We have had this filled and it works, but we've also got a busted pipe behind there, and we've also got another one in behind there that leaks. We did have one for the cold water feed, busted there where that weight fitting is, um, so I popped that on as a temporary fix. So we managed to get water going to, um, cold water going to the sink, um, but that was about our lot. And I'd say our, our kitchen sink had frozen as well, by the looks of it. Um, I don't think that's meant to, meant to do that. So yeah, it looks like we're, we're going to be looking for a kitchen sink piece as well. So that's just in that section there. So this is the cylinder side. The boiler, I think's all right, but we're not sure. Um, but we, oh, and we've got another fitting. This fitting down here has blown off on the central heating side. Um, we've then got um, so down here it gets a bit more disastrous. Uh, we've got a fitting that's blown off there. I went to try and put a copper one on or a brass one on, but sadly because it was used those plastic push-in fittings, they're slightly bigger, so I can't get enough length of pipe. But that's really here or there. You can see that the radiators had froze and um, had. Uh, split the paint on there sadly that's not the only thing that went wrong so so I do mind the mess because we've literally just chucked everything out of water's reach at the moment um, so that radiator there has actually um, frozen and we think it's got a split in it because it's been running down the side as you can see the water marks on there so that radiator could do with being replaced and this here looks all good in this side and then if you come into this room, this radiator has definitely got a split because you can see where the water come out. Um, and you can see that this one's all bulged as well. Plus, just behind there, there's another fitting that's also blowing off. So that's um, this now farm shut down for the winter. Um, we can't justify, our wool is still sitting at Mare Harbour talking about getting sent away. We do not have the funding to be able to fix any of this. so. It is just going to have to be shut down and hope for the best we can get the funding before um, shearing time. Um, the bonus is that this here will now never drop because this is the fuel for the boiler and because we're not going to be firing it back up again. Last night we did leave the electric heater on and it dried off a lot of the floor in a bit because it literally was all the carpets through here and everything was just absolutely soaked. Um, and the Sitnam radiator looks all right so we're hoping we'll be all right on that side of the front. We're hunting plating on, we've got a secondhand combi boiler, Worcester combi boiler. Um, we're wondering, instead of forking out on all the money of trying to fix this patch up job that we've done over the years, because this fit in here blew out, um, it also would have blown water all onto this um, electrical component here. And this is quite important um, for running a jet burner. When we had a peat stove, it used to just gravity feed, but we had to put this in. Um, this I can't buy locally. This is a 28 mil um, shutoff valve. I had to buy it off, I think it was eBay at the time. Um, so it sort of leads to the problem that we may have to um, get another one of them. They're not cheap bits of kit. And the combi we've got has got the proper changeover valve to heat hot water and do everything we need to do. So we're now thinking of maybe ripping all this out and putting a combi in. Um, and then if we ever do have a bust again, least it's 90% of the water will be outside hopefully um, also with the combi we can set it just to heat the central heating side so we're not actually heating hot water um, where we're going so it will save on a bit of the money side that also means that we can then move the kitchen sink up to this wall here the gas cooker will then move up to that wall there and then we can then replumb a peat stove back in here because there used to be a peat stove in here and that's why these pipes are blanked off here um, is where the boiler used to go in um, for the peat stove so we potentially could put a peat stove um, back in there and connect it in. We don't know how we connect it to a combi um, and how that sort of setup works. 
but we could find out and work it from there. But the option is there if we need it. Um, so yeah, this week's been quite disastrous. So because of the snow that we've had for the last week, we haven't been able to get any jobs done. So we haven't been able to get any invoicing out. So we're not getting enough income to pay off the bills that we've got for the jobs that we've started. We've got wool that's sitting in um, uh, in the island still that's due to head over. And sadly, none of them's looking like they're heading over until the end of July. Yeah, fingers crossed if they head over. And uh, so yeah, at the moment we're running on um, minuses um, and trying to make things work. So if it, it gets any tougher, we may have to think about shutting this place down altogether. We are going to keep the 24 hour power system running um, for the telephone here. Um, so we can phone up and check and sure the power's still running because we've got a deep freeze up on the top of the hill that luckily didn't thaw out. Sadly, everything we had in this deep freeze, um, we had to get rid of and dispose of. So uh, yeah, it just, it is what it is. It's paying ass. I'd even say this radiator's froze by the way that this pipe has cracked along here. Um, I don't know. If we could um, uncheck this one, but yeah, so I'd say that we're looking at uh, at least three, four radiators and a lot of plumbing. We've got to make the call of whether buying all the fitness to fix up this plumbing that has a lot of sags in it where water, when the shit system does shut down, it holds a lot of water and freezes to putting a combi in and having all this done away with. So there's less pipe work. So what do you recommend? Combi or keep the system we got? Um, put down in the squiggle pit below and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, sorry for the burden and I'll try and add a picture of our trip in town right here. So Wall Mountain was a complete sheet of ice as you'll see in this picture. And that was a sheet of ice right up until we got to about Estancia. And then the water you see running down, the ice you see running down through the river right here. So here's the Marla River with the water running down and the ice running down the river. In a second you'll see the St. Carlos River with ice running down. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up.